Well, welcome to the last uh, of my selection of Blackpool video. This is our uh, visit to Blackpool in 1992. And as I promised, we'd have a little look at the Blackpool Illuminated Trams. And uh, sitting alongside me, we've got uh, Rockin' Ron from Burgess Hill. Hello, Ron. Hello, John. <laughs> and uh, Ron's been to uh, Blackpool on many, many occasions, uh, like ourselves, um, especially in the... When did you first go? Uh, 1990. Uh, 1990. Oh, it's two years before me. My, yeah. my first trip was 92. And, uh, yeah, well, there was a dual purpose to that, though. <laughs> ah, yes, yes. Um, I think we'll talk about that another time, but it's, uh, it's to do with the restoration of a... Uh, of a Chevrolet Camaro, yeah. That's right. Anyway, um, trams. Uh, we've just been having a look on uh, Wikipedia, which we get a lot of our information from, and uh, apparently the Blackpool Illuminated Trams, um, out of all the ones that uh, we've seen, and uh, this is going to be... Uh, the end of an era by the look of it from what I'm going to show you this evening um, there's only one left they've all gone so uh, we're going to show you some of the moment, some of those in a moment uh, to my mind the Illuminators trams were, were Blackpool itself wasn't it Ron? yes oh yeah um, you actually you actually rode in one I actually rode in the rocket one wet night yes there was more water in the rocket than there was outside <laughs> But that's why it was tilted at a 45 degree angle, I think. Yes, it used to come in the front and run out the door at the back. Well, as long as you left the door open, you'd be well away. Uh, we'll see the rocket in a moment. Just pan round to the right. And uh, here's some more. Uh, these, these, are, these are what they call the balloons. Uh, the balloons were actually made by General Electric. And um, they came in, first came into service in 1934. And uh, they, they were called balloons by the locals because of their uh, because of their bulbous sort of shape. Side loaders, centre staircase, upstairs and downstairs, and um, some of them were, I believe, were open top when they were on. There was apparently a couple of them that were built open top. Yeah, um, I seem to recall some open top trams there with a balloon shape front and back. Yes, but had a pylon sitting up in the middle of the the deck. Right. Oh, here comes the rocket. Look at all the lights on it. My son used to call it a pencil. <laughs> if you look at the tip of it, it's black and it looks just like a pencil. Here comes the rocket. And apparently uh, what was the demise of it is because of its age, uh, the wiring insulation became so bad um, they had to take it out of service because uh, it was uh, health and safety came into play and uh, you're not allowed to electrocute your passengers. <laughs> Yeah, and then um, I believe they they sidelined it then for a bit because, it, as you say, it wasn't wouldn't fit for use. Fit, yeah, fit for purpose. Um, I think they called it. And nowadays. I believe somewhere later on they brought it back as a static display one year. That's right. In uh, 2012, I think uh, cosmetically restored. I think, but it was just used as a static display yeah, I think as that's part a, of the illuminations. I think that's a coat of paint, isn't it? Yeah, I think, I think you're right. <laughs> But uh, fancy losing all of those. The original one was uh, that came into service, I think, back in the 1930s, um, was a uh, was a gondola. Uh, it wasn't passenger carrying; it was just for uh, display purposes. And apparently, there was an accident with it, and uh, it was laid up for a while. And in the end, the Americans bought it. Um, well, this one's the, this is a hovercraft, isn't it? Uh, yeah. yeah, that's a hovercraft. I don't think that's been running for several years now. No, it's a great shame. I like the train myself. Um, I think at one one time it was sponsored by uh, Fisherman's Friend and uh, the Electricity Board, and I think one of the estate agents um, used to advertise on it. Yeah, I think I think one of the problems with with the illuminated trams why they dropped out for like popularity. Mm -hmm. um, they were all rear loaders. Um, none of them loaded from the side. Oh, I see. Like normal trams, and I think. They were a little bit of a problem to get the customers on and off, but there used to be sort of a loop line up by the tower, which they used to drive them in to load them up, and then they used to go out on the circuit. Oh, I there. see. And um, of course, the uh, yeah, 
the other thing was with the illuminated trams, they didn't stop at the ordinary stops. Um, there was a get on and get off point, I believe, wasn't there? Yeah, which was by the tower, which you went, you got on them there, you went up to uh, Bishop, and oh. then back down Stargate round and got off at the tower again. It was, oh, quite, was, it? It was quite a good, good trip. Oh, it was a complete loop. So well, uh, you, you ended yeah. up back where you started from. Yeah, yeah, you didn't go up to Fleetwood or anything like that, but uh, yeah. There were some of the street sellers, <laughs> lots of those about, uh, uh, pirate videos and uh, all sorts of things they used to sell, including these uh, illuminated uh, handheld devices such as you see the children there with um, fibre optic torches, uh, the glow lights hanging around the neck. <laughs> bit worried about why those things used to glow in the dark but <laughs> uh, but even still um, illuminated yo-yos <laughs> used to get all sorts of uh, tat I think they call it nowadays pounder yo-yo I think it was and um, oh dear I think we're in actual fact so uh, we're coming to the end of our visit uh, to Blackpool 1992 seeing the showboat coming up um, this was a uh, converted milk float as I told you in one of the other productions and it used to play very loud, um, sort of uh, showboat type music. Yeah, but it wasn't, wasn't actually on the rails, in case people don't know. Oh no. It used to drive along the promenade. Yes. Uh, it was quite, quite free from the other trams. Yes. I'm not sure if that's still a belt or not, but uh, they seem to have lost a lot. Yeah. Uh, I think we had the best of it back in the uh, 90s and the early 2000s. Oh yes, uh, yeah. really when it's in its heyday, but a uh, little bit last time I went up there, it was very tatty looking, uh, needed quite a bit of a facelift. But uh, I think this is just about the end of the illuminated section, and unfortunately in a moment we're going to see us all getting in the coach, waving goodbye to the uh, proprietors of the uh, Tudor Rose Hotel. There it is, Blackpool in the daylight. Doesn't look quite the same, does it? This is cloudy. Yes, oh, that's true. <laughs> Don't get suntan. Where's the driver? The driver's missing. He'll be back in a minute, I expect. <laughs> He's probably gone to get a oh, there 99p. He is. 99p. <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> and uh, there's some of the... Uh, oh, there's, there we are. All waving goodbye. Tudor Rose Hotel. See you again next year. We used to shout out the window. And there's the balcony where we used to take uh, quite a lot of the shots that you've seen this evening of the trams were taken from up there. Oh, there's another site you don't see now, Woolworth. The Woolworth store. Who are they? <laughs> anyway, I hope you've enjoyed uh, these little productions that we've put together. We will be doing more. Um, it's just that we've run out of the uh, Blackpool tapes at the moment. And uh, we'll see if we can find something else to interest you. And uh, thanks again to Ron. Thanks very much for coming over. Yeah, thank you, John. No, it was quite all right. And uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. So, And I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching it as we have done uh, putting the productions back. Um, so, this is just about the end. Thanks very much for viewing and uh, see you soon. Yeah, we'll speak to you soon. <laughs>